Hi there, and welcome to Linotype. Today I would like to show you how to install the fonts you've purchased from our website on a macOS 10 system. After payment, you'll receive a zip file. It'll look something like this. If you double click on it, your macOS 10 system will unzip it. You'll get a folder called Purchased Fonts. It's like this. Double click on it. As you can see, I purchased an ITC font that is, a font belonging to the International Typeface Corporation Library. By the way, ITC was founded in 1970 in New York and was one of the world's first type foundries to have no history at all in the production of metal type. But I digress. Next you'll get access either to documents related to the fonts you purchased, like license, trademarks and font related, or to the fonts as such. This is where we want to go. I only purchased one font, a member of the Neue Aachen family. It's one of my favorite typefaces. As you can see, this is the font format. In this case, it is an OpenType CFF standard. That is, a PostScript flavored OpenType which supports Western European standard scripts, such as English, German, French, Spanish, Italian, and so on. Any Latin-based Western European script. Now, in order to install it, you simply need to double-click the font file, like so. Your Mac OS X system will then open up this little window. It shows a sample of the typeface, the weight, in this case regular, and the option to install it. Just click on Install Font, and your operating system will do the rest. As you can see, the font is now installed. Any application capable of handling this font format will now list this font in its font menu and you can use it to create content. Uh, by the way, OpenType CFF is one of the standard font formats of Mac OS X, so there really should be no problem in using this font. Any up-to-date application can handle it. I hope this little video was helpful. Should you have further questions or comments, please do not hesitate to drop us a line. You'll find a link to our contact form below.